So I think there's some social media skills that all children need to learn. And through ATL skills, we can teach them these skills. Some key things about identity, virtues and values. Um, children need to learn exactly who they are and what their character is made of and what they consider to be their highest virtues and values, um, who they are and who they want to be, which then helps them to realize the difference between their reputation and their character. Because, of course, reputation tends to be what social media is based on, whereas character is not necessarily the same. But, I mean, that's one of the, the key lessons for students to learn about setting up their social media identity, is to try and focus that identity on their strengths, on their goals, and try and make their own online identity exemplify their real, true values. They need to find positive, inspirational adults to follow, to actually be careful about um, and uh, making ethical choices about likes. If they set up all the people that they're connected to to inspire them and help them to achieve their goals, then that would be a really useful way to utilize social media. To, and obviously, it's going to be important to set up um, and maintain strong relationships that exist both on and offline. It is the offline relationships that actually give you the, um, the other parts of communication. You can't get the read on communication, on body language, on a tone. Um, you, all you can get is the read on words when you're engaged in social media. I mean, it was maybe 40 years ago that Mehrabian came up with the statistics that in any communication between hum humans human beings, 7% of the communication was in the words. As I recall, it was 8% of the communication was in the tone, and 85% of any communication was in the body language, was in what you were reading about that person as to who that person really is. And of course, it's that, that, that emotional connection between people which is totally miss missing in any online communication. And I think this is what uh, Gabor Mate is talking about. Emotional attachment is the most important thing in any human communication. And we've got to make sure that young people are getting that connection as well as online connection. And to achieve that, I guess the idea of supporting the idea with your students of, of encouraging them to take a digital day off. You know, how many of us can do that? How many of us do do that? Take 24 hours without your phone, put it in the drawer, turn it off and never look at it for 24 hours. Could you do that? What about a complete day off from digital devices? What about no phone, no laptop, no tablet, no computer and no television? Just for 24 hours, just one day. Maybe one day per month. The interesting thing is when you do that, you actually have to make more emotional connection with other human beings because you're, just, you're taken away from a digital connection. Therefore, the real physical um, in-person connection becomes so much more important. I encourage you to try that one day per month. Give it a try.